Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today I'd like to talk about switches. There are so many switches out there. Um, I'll say personally, I was a little overwhelmed when I first decided to, okay, now it's time to get switches because at first I bought a few mechanical keyboards but the majority of them were soldered and the couple that were hot swap. I just, it took me a while before I even got to that point. And then one of the first things I did was when I ordered some switches for my EUSU hot swap board, uh, which in case you guys aren't familiar with, it's a one of the more affordable brands on Amazon. And the hot swap versions they have up until last year all use the Milmax or Otemu style hot swap sockets. And for those of us that have been around for a while, um, something I didn't know is that those Melmax hot swaps will work with Otemu, and some Akos, most Akos, uh, the wing latch style Akos, not the legged Akos, because those are, if I'm not mistaken, made by Gatoron. Um, there are some switches. This is a NK switch that one leg you can actually see right there that the, the leg on the right hand side it's crimped at the uh, at the point that makes it impossible for it to fit into the round milmax hot swap sockets so the first time i went to go buy switches i was like okay milky yellows everyone says milky yellow by gateron and i got some and then I tried to install them into my EUSU board and they didn't work. And I I didn't know why. And I was quite frustrated. I'm like, they're hot swap. Why aren't they working? I didn't know there was different type of hot swap sockets. <laughs> so that was a lesson, hard learned, but well learned. But since then, I have dove head in into switches. I... I really enjoy switches I, I've got a collection nothing like theremin goats mind you but I have a pretty good collection of switches I have a pretty good idea of what I like and I'm actually I have fondness for switches in all the categories from silent to clicky to to tactile to linear tactile probably being my favorite types of switches especially a heavy tactile like the U4T but kazoo switches were definitely my entrance into silent, silent, um, tactile, and heavy tactile, the 14. Um, and there was the bonus that they fit into Otemu hot swap sockets because, yes, Gazoo switches are made by, are manufactured by Otemu. They're designed by Gazoo, manufactured by Otemu in a separate facility, from what I understand. Um, but the gazoo switches worked in Otemu Milmax socket, so I was like, okay, I can buy what are, well, what I considered, because at the prices they were, uh, I mean, now gazoo switches are definitely a lot more affordable compared to some of the higher end switches. I mean, I see switches that are over a dollar a piece. I mean, come on. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I like a good switch, but at what point does it become just too much per switch? Anyway, I've been in this for a while and there's still some times that I will hear a switch on a sound test in a video and I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna try it. Though most of the times I get a pretty good idea for based on the specs and everything, if I'm gonna like it or not. But there are still times that I'm curious about a switch. Now, as one of the moderators on Budget Keeps, one of the questions that is asked on almost a daily basis if not several times a day is what switch should I get now switches are in my experience in my honest opinion they're very subjective well, while there might be one switch you know there are some people that love browns I don't have too much against browns I just 
consider them to be a drunk linear rather than an actual tact. Though, I can take a brown stem and stick it in different um, housings and actually get, well, changing the spring weight as well as changing the housings because they'll have different leaf springs and I can actually get a little bit more tactility. And this is a Gatoron brown stem in a um, purple panda housing. And it actually, it's not way more, but it's definitely, whereas I'd consider a brown a very light tactile. This is more of a medium tactile in this housing. I've also got into gone very deep into Franken switches. I'm sure you can tell here there's some tops and bottoms that may not belong together, or like a a cream with a black stem, or uh, oh, what what was this one? This is a Fecker, I think. No, this was another one. Ah, some of these I don't even remember the names to. That's a um, bronze stem inside of a NK housing. But to this day, I still wonder, is that a switch I'm going to like? It's not as often, but it still occurs. But when somebody comes and asks me, or asks just generally for many people to answer for her, so when somebody comes along to the question thread on budget keeps and you know sometimes they'll provide a little bit of oh i'm using this switch right now but i just got this keyboard and i want it to sound docky creamy poppy marbly what switch should i get now of course we always make the um disclaimer that a switch is only about 20 or 30 percent of the sound produced it's all of the elements of the keyboard that come together in order to decide that final sound profile that it makes with all the different components put together but there's just too many times that people come even if they provide feedback on what they currently like it doesn't necessarily mean hey i'm gonna like this one or i'm gonna like that one so many times it's hard to say hey i think this is a switch that you'd like or hey why don't you try this switch or now we do our best to provide that but I mean, I've had people return and say, yeah, that's what you recommended. That's awesome. I really like it. And then I've also had people say, yeah, I bought that switch. That's all right, but that's not what I was looking for. I want something a little heavier. I want something a little lighter, a little this, a little that. The only person that can choose the switch that you're going to like is you. And that's just all there is to it. So in the past, I would direct people to buy a switch tester. There's a couple vendors out there that actually will let you pick the switches that you want for your switch tester as long as it's in their inventory. And they'll send you, you know, an acrylic uh, switch pad. Sometimes they're 3D printed, depending on which shop you're dealing with. And they'll send you one of each switch so you can try them out. Now, that's, that's okay. But then you're kind of stuck with a whole bunch of switches that you might not like. I mean, it's nice for testing, playing around, whatever. But recently... A new way to decide on which switch is right for you came about and I want to talk to you about it so a few weeks back I got a mod mail uh, moderator email uh, messaging through reddit where a vendor was asking to advertise in the sub now we're as far as um, advertising goes we're pretty uh, off hands. I mean, we have some trusted vendors that we keep on the sidebar, um, but really the only time that we do adverts for companies is when we're doing giveaways. Um, we're big enough that, you know, there's a good amount of people on the sub, 100, 150 people at any one time, but we're small enough that if we allowed vendors to just come and post when they wanted to, I think our feed would be primarily adverts and we're trying to avoid that. We want to focus on the keyboards and the end users and we work with the advertisers. Like I said, when we do giveaways or we do special events, um, do collaborations with them because if it's something that everybody can benefit from the community as well as the vendor and it's positive, then we like to do it. But I was reached out by this vendor that I, I, I I'll admit, at first, 
because of the nature of this market, there is a little bit of, I won't say fraud, but just some players that aren't as honest as I, I'd like, preferably. But we tend to be a little strict, especially with new vendors, because, hey, we don't know. So a vendor came to me and was like, hey, you know, we got this service and I think it, you know, it would be great for your users. And I was like, hmm, I don't know. It sounds kind of, I don't know. It, it, it at first set off my spidey senses, not to a huge degree, but I had questions. Thankfully, I reached out to somebody that I trust that's been in the community for, well, longer than I have um, and is well known by many in the community. And while my acquaintance and I, we are both, um, you know, in the keyboard hobby, or him more so than myself, he's been doing it much longer, um, and has an established name, so he he knows a lot more of the people and just everybody involved. But despite the fact that we usually talk about anything but keyboards, um, I had brought up the fact I'm like, oh yeah, I got this vendor, and it's it's got this weird um, business model where you pick switches and they send you out samples of switches and then you send them back and then you can you know buy the switches from them and it's basically just a ten dollar fee to try out five of each of uh, five individual switches of each kind that you pick out and it actually has the website goes through a small quiz to kind of get an idea for what type of switches you'd like and gives you some suggestions and then you can pick and once you pick ten you get five of each shipped out to you in a box with a return label so that you can play with the switches for as long as you want ten dollars covers the shipping to you the shipping back and you got the switches and he was like oh is it milk tooth and i'm like you know he's like actually yeah i do know the guy blah, blah. we started talking and i'm like oh so legit and he's like oh yeah absolutely good guy legit i was like okay so I reached back out to him and I said, you know, somebody vouched for you, so let me give it a try. Since we usually only add trusted vendors um, to our sidebar when at least three of us have made purchases, um, you know, that went off without a hitch or, you know, without any major issues or, you know, delays or anything like that. So, and we kind of do like the blind shoppers because we don't, you know, obviously don't let them know our names ahead of time and so we'll make purchases and after we've all you know come together the moderators and decided okay these guys are you know they seem worthwhile and trustworthy we add them to our list and vendors that don't we add them to vendors to avoid so being that he gave them you know an okay basically hey they're cool i, I reached back out to him and i was like hey let me give it a shot try it and see what it's like and then you know we'll go from there so today i'm talking about milk tooth i know that was a very long introduction just to get to here but milk tooth is a website or milk tooth is a company that allows you to go through it has some pretty good articles about switches and the differences between a clicky and a linear and a tactile and so on and they sell switches and the prices of their switches are market comparable. I, I did not find any switch that was more expensive than, you know, another keyboard store. Uh, I'm focusing on the U.S., North America only. Um, all their switches seem to be in line with the same pricing that other shops have. So, and he has a very broad selection. Um, very broad. And I was surprised that, you know, I was like, well, that's a lot of switches you know, to try out. I was like, all right, let me give this a shot. Now, I did say five switches. I meant four. There are four switches of each kind. And this is what you get. Now, of course, I've torn off the label. I actually uh, don't mind the tape. I beat it up a little bit. That was my fault when I opened it up the wrong way. Um, but this is what you get. You get to pick from ten different switches, and you get four of them loaded up into this nice 3D-printed switch tester that actually has i don't know if you guys can see because it's black as well but they have little strips of i don't know if it's neoprene or eva 
but it's a foam so they're not going to scoot around so you can actually put it on a slippery surface and it's going to for the most part stay and they also have labels of what they are he also encourages you to go ahead and pop them out and put them in a keyboard but i went ahead yes i've never tried an oil king they're too expensive but i wanted to try one um i'm not a big fan of novel keys but i wanted to try their blueberry uh, the ws heavy tactile i like and now i actually own some myself <laughs> oreos that quite nice white lotus is a newer switch but quite interesting taro another switch that i uh, ended up buying <laughs> now um oh the aqua kings i'd heard about these for a while i wanted to give them a shot the gatoron quinn i had not heard of these before and i actually like these these are very interesting switches and i i might uh, i might get some they're pricey <laughs> The Gatoron Scam, again, another switch that I had not had a chance to try. And the Polaris Purple, which is, I think it's the first SP Star switch that I've tried. No, yeah. I don't know, I think. But you get all of these switches, 40 switches total. Obviously, they're all mixed for $10. Shipped out to you for you to play with. Um, I think it gives you a five day window from when you receive them and when you ship them out. But I think that, you know, holidays or give you a couple extra days. I don't think it's like, it better be five days. I'm sure if you send it in at like six or seven days, it isn't gonna be a big deal. Um, now he does um, state on the website that if you don't return them, there will be an extra charge obviously to cover the switches that aren't returned. But I, he says that it's it hardly ever happens. And I see why, why would somebody you know keep them and get charged more if it's not you know full sets but you're free to take out the switches pop them in a the keyboard give them a shot open them up obviously anything but modify or break them and you get to have an idea without needing somebody else to tell you how they think about the switch you can decide on your own. I like this one. I like this one. I don't like that one. I like this one. I like this one. That one, eh. This one, yeah. And this one, eh. I'm just randomly doing it, so don't take my opinion from these. But having the ability to test the switches out for yourself, I think is really the best option. Um, like I said, I've always told people to get switch testers. Problem is you only get one switch. Don't get me wrong. A lot of people can gather at least, you know, an idea from one switch, but there's just nothing could be said for doing this. You kind of get a good feeling of the sound, of the feel of more than one key. And I think most people will be able to go, okay, yes, I want this in my keyboard. And especially, you know, you take them out, you put them in a keyboard you're already using, use them with key caps you're already using. And you can see and you can test the next two switches that you already have and that you do like so that you can compare them. Well, I like these more. I like these less. So he sent them out to me and I wanted to do, I mean, this isn't a commercial. He hasn't paid me. He sent me these out and I'm sending them back once I'm done. Um, though, like I said, I picked out some switches that I wanted to buy. I did get them um, from another vendor, but that's just, because I had a discount. <laughs> but um, you get the ability to test the switches in the comfort of your own home, the comfort of your own keyboard using the keycaps that you prefer and testing them against other switches that you already have and might like or might kind of like, but you can get much better of an idea. You can decide at that point if that's a switch that you actually want to invest in. I can tell you there's been several times I have purchased switches waited for them to arrive check the tracking they get here and i start playing with them and i'm like oh and then they go in a jar and they get forgetting about they get forgetting about because nah, nah. i lube them eh, they're not any good but most of the times thankfully i'm happy with the switches that i buy um so to me i found this model to be a great model so I'm putting I put this video together just uh, have actually done a couple of takes I just wanted to make sure that I got everything right 
But I wanted to share this service uh, with the folks out there, especially, I mean, I think this is, you know, very well geared towards newcomers into the hobby, but I think it's useful for anybody. Like I said, I myself found a couple of switches that I decided to purchase because I liked them and I knew that I would like the entire set. And I was right because I already got to try four of them, which in my opinion is enough to know. So I told him I would go ahead and uh, do a video review of his service, explain it, including some screenshots of the website. And um, I'm doing this because I think it's a good service. He's not paying me. He's you know, Like I said, I'm returning the switches. There's no money exchange being involved. This is just something that I feel will be helpful for a lot of people. I mean, you know, even if we're dealing with more affordable and stock keyboards, once you, you know, figure in the keycaps, the switches, a cable, a wrist rats, whatever else, you know, most of the times you're going to be looking at over a couple hundred dollars. Not always, but many times. An investment of $10, 5%, to figure out what switch to get and to ensure that you don't accidentally buy switches that you're not happy with, I think is a worthwhile investment. And I think his service is a great idea because you don't get stuck. Like I said, if you buy a, a switch pad or a switch tester and you load it up with 12 different switches and you know you might like a couple of them and you end up buying them but you're still stuck with that switch tester i mean and it's okay to have but if you're never going to use it again because you've already decided on which switches you like and maybe the rest of them you don't like no loss with this i mean you're paying ten dollars for a service that i think is honestly worthwhile because no one can give you better advice than yourself no one's going to be able to tell you what switch you like over another better than you so in my opinion i feel that milk tooth is a great service again i vouch for him because the person that told me i am very confident in they've never let me down so in all the interactions that i've had with uh, milk tooth have been very positive we've gone back and forth and discussed um you know i've kind of i'm not saying that i'm giving him ideas but i've just kind of We've talked about the business model and everything and, and kind of together came came to the realization that, yeah, this is really a good idea. So I wanted to do this video to let anybody that may not know about this service know. And for those of you that might have come across their website but weren't too sure, well, I can vouch for them. And they will be going and they will be added here shortly to our sidebar doing maintenance on the weekends right now but we'll be we'll be adding milk tooth to the sidebar as a trusted vendor and i think it's a great service i again i mean for some people it may be fine to go ahead and just buy the switch tester and they want some extra switches well I, i've bought a couple of switch testers and i end up usually franken switching them and sometimes i make a franken switch i really like from a switch that i didn't like stock and then I'm like, okay, well, maybe I'll buy back to that. So, but I literally mess around with switches while I'm watching TV, like nervous energy. It just, I'll just, well, let me see what happens if I put this top with that bottom and this stem and that spring. Ooh, or, ugh. So, but for most people, I don't think they're going to do that. So I think this service, being able to say, okay, I'm going to try the Quinn. The Quinn, this is one of the, the more interesting switches that I found out of this batch that I picked. Um, I did go through the questionnaire and for the most part picked ones that were, that matched the questions that it were asked of me. But now I know which of these switches I want to invest in. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. Not that the uh, Oil King is a, it's a bad switch. I just don't. I don't see why, why I should pay more than double what I would for a Jaywick Black. And this is extremely similar to a Jaywick Black. But that, again, that's just my opinion. A lot of people love Oil Kings. And I, I can't tell anybody else what they should or shouldn't like. And I would never dare to do that. So if you are stuck wondering what switch to get, you know, you're working on your 
end game build and you're willing to spend ten dollars it's a pretty good investment I like it I'm adding them to our trusted vendors list and I think it will help a lot of newcomers and even old timers like ourselves well I'm not really an old timer I guess middle age in there. <laughs> but it'll give anybody who's looking for new switches an idea of what that switch is going to be like especially when you're you know talking about oil kings what are they like 70 80 cents a piece i know they're pretty pricey the aqua kings are pretty pricey as well uh you will know is it worthwhile for me to invest you know in a pack of 90 110 70 however many you decide to buy for the keyboard you're loading up i almost always buy 110 packs just in case i do want to load it on a full board or an 1800 um but mainly so that i have some extras for frank and switching <laughs> but that's just me so this is milk tooth they allow you to test drive switches at home and i can't think of another service that's like this but I've, i know there's other services where you can test drive stuff you get it play with it and send it back oh uh parker warbly the glasses you get the frames you get to see how the frames look pick out the ones you like send them back and then you get the glasses like i said the ones that he has available for testing he also sells them and they're available at market rates that you're going to find everywhere else he's competitive with everybody else's pricing i don't think i found a single one that was more expensive i think they were all I, he had a couple of switches that were actually cheaper by a couple of cents than other stores or the same price so he's competitive he has a very nice selection and uh that quiz that he want that the, the site walks you through is is a very good way to at least kind of slim down that selection of switches that you might like so i hope that this was informative to you guys anybody out there looking to try new switches i I'd, I'd say give milk tooth a try because i think that it's a worthwhile service i think it's a great idea I'm actually kind of surprised that somebody didn't think of it beforehand um, because it's just, I mean, especially folks that are just getting into it and they've only, you know, ever tried a red or a blue or a brown, you know, that's very limited. And there's still people that think of, you know, switches as only falling into that category, but there's really, there's a lot of subs, sub ranges, in, you know, there's heavy tactiles, light tactiles, um, you know, you've got silent tactiles. They're, there's a lot of variances and just a lot out there. I mean, there's thousands of switches to choose from. It's very easy to become overwhelmed. I think this is a solution to that problem. What switch do I want to use? So what switch do you like the best? Let me know down in the comments below. I hope that this video was informative. And if you guys do give Milk Tooth a shot, let them know the bad mark sent you. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.